Hi guys, welcome to this plumberparts.co.uk video. My name's James, and today we're gonna to be having a look at how to deal with condense from a condensing boiler if the condense outlet is below where you're trying to drain it to. Condense works only by running downhill on gravity, so sometimes if your boiler's in a basement or below the stack or below where you're getting rid of it, you're gonna need a product to actually pump that up. Fortunately, Velo have made the Velo Plavis, and we're gonna be installing that today and showing you what the features are. If you like today's video, please do subscribe. Please follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and also Snapchat, and I'll see you soon. I hope you enjoy the video, guys. Hold tight. Plumparts.co.uk. Honest reviews and advice. Here's our problem. Our condense outlet comes out from here, and what used to happen is it used to run outside to a temporary lime scale gully just outside there. That was fine, because it could run downhill and go outside but we don't want to be running to our limescale gully anymore. And I thought this is a great opportunity for us to show you how we can use the washing machine waste we've got behind us that goes off to our normal four inch stack and then off to our main drains to actually get rid of our condense internally. Also at the same time, I thought, well, these plavises here can pump a four and a half meter head, which is really high. And they're usually used for when you install boilers like in basements or at low level, you know, so you're looking to pump your condense up you know, to the next floor and then into the waste properly like that. So let's have a quick look at the plavis itself. Inside, you've got loads, <laughs> loads and loads and loads and loads and loads of hose. What I'm gonna do in a minute, without kinking it all up and being horrible, I'm gonna pull this out as far as I can and take it up as far as I can. I'm gonna fill the plavis up while it's plugged in and not installed yet, and we'll see actually how far it can pump. I'm sure it's gonna be able to pump this far. And most of you guys aren't gonna to wanna to be pumping it more than one whole floor up. You know, I don't know many people who've got a double basement, apart from Batman or whatever. Instructions, men, as I say, ignore them. And then when you've done it wrong, come back to them later on and then read them properly. The ladies out there, read them properly first time and do the job properly first time. There we go. I have to say that because my wife tells me to. And then we've actually got our plavis itself just sitting here. So a quick look at the plavis itself. You can take all of this apart really easily. So we've got our two inlets here and here, two rubber inlets that we can remove. So we can have two boilers coming into this if we want. We've got a small outlet here. You can pop our box lid off and actually remove the whole pump itself. So if you get any debris in the bottom of the box or anything like that, you can clear that out and give it a wash. If I was a servicing engineer, and I saw one of these about um, after a year, I'd always just give them a quick clear out, make sure they're okay. The orientation for these can be changed as well really easily. You can clean the outlet very easily as well, just by unscrewing that, removing that off, and clearing the nozzle out. So they're fully serviceable as well, and they're easy to install. I'll show you that in a sec. I mean, I looked at like three meters head, which is a sort of standard kind of head height you're gonna be using for a standard building. That'll pump uh, 150 liters an hour at a three meter head. So if we're pumping to an outlet that's three meters above this floor, it will be able to handle 150 liters an hour, which is easy for condense. Also, it's fully rated as well for the slight acidity that you get in condense, because remember this is a combustion byproduct, so there's a very small amount of acidity in there that can rust away, uh, put, like metal parts and all that. We're gonna be piping all this up in plastic today. There's no metal parts involved, no copper. That's a big no-no. No brass, that's also a big no-no. So we're gonna be piping all this up today. But first, let's have a little bit of fun uh, with the plavis itself and just see how high up this is gonna pump. So let's have a quick look at that. It's also worth noting that the plavis uses a transformer as well that's gonna need access to a mains plug. Right then, so to test the pumpability of the plavis, I'm just gonna plug this hose in here. And what I'll do later on, I'll probably put a little clip around that as well to make sure that all holds. It's a good idea as well, just to make sure that all the pipes are unkinked because it can get kind of a little bit kinked in transit as well. What I'm gonna do is fill up our chamber here and see actually how far this beast can pipe up. Right, so as you can see, I've got my plavis pipe attached to this top of this bit of four, uh, bit of this three quarter here. Emily, start pouring some in there, my lovely assistant Emily. Pour it in, the pump should kick in, we start pumping. Look at that. I could push that like miles up there, I could use it to wash the windows. So I think that proves pretty conclusively that this beast can pump a massive amount of head. I'd say four and a half meters is a bit of an understatement, but there we go. But if you are pumping out of a basement, you know that this is gonna be able to do the job with your condens. Let's get it installed. Right then, so now that we've had a little bit of fun with it and I've proven to you that, you know, this thing can really pump a, a lot of condensed water to really good height as well, 
Quinton, just want to notice you've got a little overflow there as well. Just missed that. Let's actually get our Plavis installed on this system. Now we've got a Grant Vortex here. They give out, you know, a reasonable amount of condensate. actually. They've got a large condensing chamber in them. They're very, very efficient boilers. And what we want to do is we are just literally, we've got our condensed trap here and that sits just out of shot, just in the side here. And the outlet for the condensed elbows straight through this hole here. What we're going to do, we're going to run our well, we'll just see how we can how we can get this done. So what I'm going to try and do is keep this a, quite a simple in install. It's all about really where you can install things. What I'm thinking is we'll put our washing machine back up next to it and then have a little wooden sort of slat over the top that protects everything. And then afterwards, people can just shove stuff on top of it as much as they like. Let's be realistic here, guys. That's what we need to be. People do this in their houses. <laughs> Right, so let's get this. We're just gonna get our little bit inside bit done on the boiler first. You guys don't really need to see this because it's not really part of the Plavis job. I'll give you a quick overview of it in a sec. So now that we've got our condensed nice and out of the boiler, and this is really firm here, it's not moving anywhere, just not attached to this or anything. So I want my inlet to be just here. I'm going to use 245. The bit that I think is really, really important is, is getting your hole as correct as you possibly can for the pipe that you're going to be pushing through here. So try to, you know, use a really sharp Stanley knife blade to cut that out as well as you possibly can. Right, so that's ready. Just made a little hole in there. Pop my palavis in here. You sit that down there. So it sits nice and snugly in its little crook. Now, as you can see, because we haven't got miles to go, I don't need all this hose work here. So I'm just going to cut off a, a length that I can work with now. Just a little thing I want to say as well. It's, it, it's got, there's a little ball bearing in here that rests back on the rubber seat that's on this. So you will be left with a full pipe. It's not going to expel all the water out of the pipe because just like you'd have with the Sani Flow or other stuff, you know, there's not, the, the pushback is going to push back on that ball bearing and not put any weighted pressure on the pump. So that's one thing we're doing there. So I just want you guys to know that. Make sure that's pushed fully down. Let's just pop my covers on. Right, so literally, it's the simplest job ever. Just usual kind of work. our plavis in like that, then we can put our rubber band around here. Right, so we've got our plavis and the condensate actually installed. Obviously the electrics are easy, we just need to have a plug outlet to go into. So you're gonna be asking now, look, we've got this, this concertina hose up here, how is it gonna be safe after we've left? How are we gonna know that people aren't gonna knock it and stuff like that? How are we gonna install it so it goes safely into our tap up here or even through multiple floors when we're pumping up? It's easy, okay? Just watch. Number one, use 15 mil copper. If you do what I do, I find that this always works really well. I've never really had a problem doing it like this. So hopefully you'll like this idea. I use copper pipe and I try to, well, basically keep everything in as good an order as I possibly can. So watch this. Now that we've got our pipe, just see it as a track. We can then push up our pipe straight through here. And because we've got bends, it's not gonna struggle. Make sure you deburr your pipe as well before you put it in. And then as we push up, a little bit come off like that. In a sec, which finds we're just at the top here. Just getting around the top of that crook now. Through it, there we go, just like that. Look at that, that can now just pop down here nicely. I can push a fair bit through. So look, if we get like this much through like here, we know that's not gonna come out of there. So I can now push this down all the way down here. I like doing it this way because it then means you know where, you know this is, this is all properly fixed then. We know that we're not gonna have any problems with it kinking. We can cut our pipe to the exact length that we need. So I'm just gonna do that here. And there we go, our plavis is now ready to work. Right, so now that we've got our plavis in, it's all piped up. I just had a, a little bit of a spillage earlier on when I did a test, but this is totally fine. Let's get this running. Just pouring water into the top of this. Look at that, it's pumping now. 
that is taking literally litres and litres and litres of what I can give it. I've just poured two litres down there, easily two litres. And it's pumping it, no leaks. And I tell you what, there's one thing that you only ever notice about these once you've got them running, is how quiet they are. Seriously quiet. Guys, you might wonder why there's a little bit of a dark patch around it. It's because I accidentally did a test a minute ago and I forgot to plug it in, like the kettle. You can see how easy it is to install, how nice and neat they are, how small they are as well. They're like, they're e they'd be easy to fit underneath a combi boiler if they were in a kitchen. And also they're so, so quiet, it doesn't matter if they're inside the house as well. They almost sound just, I mean, they're much quieter than a kettle, much quieter than anything else in the, in the house as well, and quieter than the boiler running, if you ask me. So they're perfect, perfect thing. If you've got a boiler, in a basement or you've got problems with getting rid of your condense you need to pump it up then definitely look at the velo plavis to actually solve your problem on this one okay they're absolutely brilliant and it's a pleasure for me to you know share some products that get over problems and you know give you an honest review as to how they work it's really cool so then guys, I hope you've enjoyed today's video all about how to deal with condense. I hope you like the little job we've done here. I love that little copper fix there to get that flexi up without any of the condense touching the copper, but also keeping that flexi rigid and safe. If you need any more help, I'll leave a link to Velo's website in the description of this video below so you can probably see them. Please do hit the like button if you need any more help. Just comment as well on this video. Only too happy to help. Also, please follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and Snapchat, and I'll see you soon. Thanks ever so much for watching, guys, and remember to hold tight.